you guys. I'm Rick Dancer. This is That Oregon Life. This is my wife, Kathy. And you are? Russ McGuire. Russ McGuire. And we're in Cottage Grove at the Carousel Project. People have been asking about this, like, are you going to go to see the Carousel Project? So tell us about this carousel. It's a 1929 Alan Herschel Carousel. It's a uh, not really a true carousel. It's a menagerie or a merry-go-round. It has animals versus all horses. So all horses <laughs> is a merry-go-round. A carousel. A carousel. A menagerie is everything. Right. The machine was bought in uh, about 1995 by Judy Cash back in Virginia. It was a traveling carousel, so it was taken up and taken down back and forth uh, many, many times. We're uh, refurbishing the whole carousel. Uh, all the wood components were coated with lead-based paint. We're replacing everything there so that we don't have any lead-based paint on the machine any longer. And so we're... Uh, uh, probably another few months before we're having it ready where we could set it up and uh, at least turn it on. So we're uh, taking donations and uh, a lot of them have come in so far for the reconditioning effort. So really see, good. Do you want to see it? Yeah, let's go find it. Okay, you guys, so let, let's go over here and show you um, what they're doing. So look at this. This is the old, so here's the old carousel right here. This is the interior section. So it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, those are the uh, inner upper scenic panels. <clears throat> those have lead-based paint on it. So those will all be that. replaced. Okay. We can't, you can't strip into the wood that's soaked into the wood. That all has to be replaced, as well as all the deck panels that we're doing. So they're building new deck panels that's like right. this. Everything's all new. Everything else that was on this carousel like this before is being uh, disposed of. So let's go to the, um, look at all these workings, you guys. These are all the gears. <coughs> Those are so cool. And look at that. This Is this the middle, my man? That's the main column. Here's the main column right in the center, you guys. And they have the, you have, do you have all the animals? About, 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 we have 33 animals. Okay. 30 go on the machine at any given time and two chariots. So look at these guys. These are already refurbished, right? Those three over there in the corner were done by the Kaiser Horse Club. High okay, hold on, guys. I'm gonna get. I'm doing a little acrobatic work. So this one's in process, right? Uh, yeah, back in 1995. So they're restoring all these animals. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, and the, the one again, the three there at the end are from the Cottage Grove High School Advanced Art Class. So the Cottage Grove High School Advanced Art Class refurbished all of these. We have another three or four that are just about done that we're we'll bringing out. And three or four are done there. That's what they want to do with this, you guys, is build kind of like what Albany has. We're going to the open house this weekend. Is there an open house this weekend? Yes. Saturday, one to four, out here. So one to four out at the fairgrounds, right? Hmm? Is that where I am? Yep. yep. Out at the fairgrounds, there's an open house. Uh, Theodore's coming, he says. So uh, you guys can come out and see this. And this is what this is going to look like. Oh, that's cool, huh? Amazing. So have these been refurbished or were they like they were done back in 1995? So these were refurbished too. All right. Some of them were almost done. So there's a way. Hey, my dear, come over here. Uh -huh. I'm beckoning you. Wow. This is my favorite right here. Look at this rabbit. That is so cool. So talk to me. First we have to So Kathy, get in here. You can. Yes. So who are you? I'm Alice Nowicki. And how are you involved in this? I am the vice president of the Carousel Board, and I'm a party girl and also a paint girl now. So the party girl thing, you're just going to have just, to... It's once in a while. She just, what, yeah, sometimes she just busts out in song. And yeah. Yeah. You, you never know what's he going on. Yeah. Yeah. I helped yeah. Judy unpack all the carousel when she originally bought it back in Cottage Grove. I also helped, huh, that's Amanda. Oh. Amanda, that is so cool. So, so, so how can people get involved in this? They can um, go to our website, cgcarousel.com. We have contact us, a button on there. Um, they can also send money, of course, donations. We, have, we want the community to be invested in this, and so we have investment opportunities ranging from $25 to $10,000. So if you so, had grandkids and you're a, a oh, senior yes. citizen and you want to leave their name yes. on something, yes, that perfect. would be really cool for the community. Yes. You can buy a, the, the boards that go the on boards, the bottom The boards, the deck. The deck is $25 to sponsor it, and you get a plaque on it. With so, the it's name. A, so that is so cool. Yeah. So and you can adopt an animal and pick how you want it painted, 
and then your name will go on that also. That's awesome. So, that is a wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. So when do you, um, Brad's Chevrolet, you're going to put this up at Brad's, right? We hope to. We're in, we are in a, working on an agreement with him. He has generously offered us a section of his parking lot, and we are through doing the, the legal part right now. And okay. it depends upon how quickly we can get this up. But that will be its temporary home. I, for a few years until we can get land and do the building. So it'll be outside for a while. Yes, it'll be outside. For, so people can use it again and then get oh, inspired definitely, for it. Oh, definitely, definitely. And definitely. then you build the big thing like Albany has. Yes, and, yes. Because uh, this could be a huge draw for Cottage Grove. Oh, yes. We plan to have party rooms in it. We plan to have an office space. Well, you are the party girl. I know. <laughs> I mean, it has so to be I know you're going to have your own little place, huh? <laughs> I am. So finally. I guess this is all about you, huh? <laughs> yes. What can I say? <laughs> but it, the complex will be will be uh, conference areas party rooms and the carousel and a gift shop hopefully you know if we get what well, our dreams come true type of thing through funding <laughs> you know what I like about this it's like a perfect fit for Cottage Grove oh goodness because you yes. think of you know like uh, uh, the town and, yes, and you're so yes. historic and then to have something like that where people could come down and really enjoy your yes, community yes, that way yes yes we're Amazing. we're um, all of us love what we're doing and you know, we're trying to make Judy's dream come true. So, and um, and Judy again, she was very thoughtful to do this for you. She guys. was. She was. And you she want to make sure that happens. Wonderful woman. Yes. So you need to raise how much? Do you know? Um, I the last I have just for the restoration, it was about twenty five thousand left. Okay. And then the building, of course, is a one point three million. Well, altogether, it's one point three million. But if you can get that land. money to get this restored, yes. then you'll set it up at Brad's if you get that yes. old work deal yes. worked out. And yes. then, then you start raising money to get the building. For the building and the land. That's how small towns do it. You do it in process. <laughs> yes. Small process. We're yes, used to that yes, kind of thing. Yes. You work hard. You do process. That's what yes, Cottage Grove yes. is. What do they say? Where, Where can, can we invest in, in the board? boards um, that you are at the Fairgrounds. So, oh, okay. So the decking and the boards and stuff like that. Go to the website. And go to the website, them. or you can come out to the open house on Saturday. So there's an open house, uh, Gina, on Saturday that you can come to, and they can tell you more about it. Um, yes, they can, and are wo at the W O E Fairgrounds. So this yes. is this is at the fairgrounds. You get to drive under the railroad tracks, which is a little freaky, um, <laughs> and out by the speedway. It's right next to the speedway, yes, and yes. there's a building out here, and you'll see all the party girls and all. Those oh, and people. we will have signs. You'll have signs yes. to get you out here, but yes. you can come out and kind of see what it is. But I think that's a great idea for somebody to give to your to, for your kid. Oh, definitely. Or somebody you, you want to leave your name behind on something important, and um, yeah. and you're investing in a great project. Yes, yes. And it's fun. And it's fun. All right, you guys. So that's the uh, carousel project in Cottage Grove. And what do you think? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, isn't and that like cool? you said, it just it just fits this community, and I love you know I love that the high school painted a few, so right. they're gonna always have that as a memory, mm -hmm. and just how cool is that? Yeah. yeah. So. so invest, and again, um, twenty five bucks gets you a board. Ten thousand dollars, you get a lot for that. <laughs> <laughs> and and then once this thing gets up and running, uh, we can all come down and get a, take a, a menagerie ride. There you go. It's really not a merry-go-round. No, it's a menagerie. See, you guys, not only do you learn amazing things on Exploregan, but you get to meet party girls. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm a paint girl. She's a paint and a party girl. All right, so Kathy and I are going to go. Now we're going to go back downtown Cottage Grove um, to lunch, and we're going to the barbecue. <gasps> oh, I've heard so about jealous. the barbecue. Oh, yeah. it's yummy. So Ira oh. and his brother invited us down, so oh, we're going to go nice. down there and show that, and then we're going to be at... Pack Tech this afternoon. We're going to be at the Pacific Yurts with Alan Baird, oh, who's a, just a Baird is just yeah. a super cool guy. And the Brew Station. The Brew oh, Station. The oh, Axe and Fiddle. Nice. Yes. Is there oh, anything yes. I'm forgetting? Oh, and we're going to take you out to the mo to show you one of the Cottage Grove bridges. There's the six covered bridges that are in the area, and we're going to show you a bike trail um, that is unlike anything around. A really cool place where families can go, where people like us go out and ride. And it's an old rail line that they used to bring the Bohemia lumber into town to uh, mill it. It's now gone, and there's this paved trail that goes up there, and it's absolutely, you have to go around Cottage, no, uh, Dorina Lake. Dorina, yes. And they got two lakes in this town, but the better one to, the one to swim in is Cottage Grove yes, Lake. Yes, yes. In the summertime, 70 yes. degrees. Yes. Love that. Very it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. All right, so we'll see you for lunch in about a half an hour. So, um, yeah, stay with us, and be sure and take this and post it on your page. Would you hit that finish button, honey, because my arm is just.